Hello everyone, this is Mr. V, your math analyst. And if you remember, in our last two videos, we started talking about non-right triangles. And we introduced the law of sines. But not always. We have one angle and its opposite side. So what do we do when we have angles that are given and we don't have the opposite side or when we have no angles given and just the three sides. So today we're going to see those type of situations. Okay, so welcome and let's start with this. Oh. As I mentioned it in the introduction, today we're going to start seeing another tool. Okay, and this tool also applies to all the triangles. The tool is the law of cosines, okay? And the law of cosines applies when we have situations where we do not have the opposite side to an angle or the opposite angle to a side, or when no angles are given. Those are situations that cannot be solved using the law of sines. So today we're going to see how to do that with the law of cosines. First, let's start with the law of cosines. And as you can see in the drawing, we have already a triangle here that is labeled, okay, uh, with the corresponding vertices and their opposite sides, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to state the idea or the pattern uh, of the law of cosines. So the first thing you need to remember is how to write the law of cosines remembering the pattern. And the idea is the following. We're going to start thinking in one, either if it's an angle or a side, we're going to start with the letter of the either side or angle that we are looking for. So to make it clearer, let's suppose that we want to find the angle A in this situation. So we have side C, side A, and side B, but we do not have the angle A, and we want to find it. So how do we start? Well, we always start with the side of the angle that we are looking for, okay? So as I said, if the angle A is what I'm looking for, I'm going to start writing the, the side A, okay? So side A to the second power equals the other two sides to the second power. So b squared plus c squared minus 2 times bc, the same two sides that I already use, sine of the angle that I'm looking for. Okay? So, sorry, I said sine is cosine. So, uh, bc cosine of the angle that I'm looking for. Okay? So, let's see if we can do that. Now, let's suppose that what we want to find is actually the side B. So, we have side A, side C, and the angle B. But we want to find the side B. Well, the same logic. I'm going to change the color. So, I'm going to start with the side I'm looking for, the letter of the side I'm looking for. I'm looking for B. So, I'm going to start with B squared. Okay? So, now I'm going to write the two other sides to the second power. Minus 2 times the two sides. Cosine of the same letter that I'm looking for. Okay? Let's see if you got it. I'm going to give you 30 seconds so you can think how to write when C is given. Okay, so I imagine that you already did it. Let's see, suppose that we want to find the angle C. Okay, so I'm going to start with the side that I'm, uh, of the angle that I'm looking for, so C to the second power, and then A, B to the second power minus 2 A, B, cosine of the angle that I'm looking for. So that is the way we remember the law of cosine. So I hope that this it helped you to find the, 
the pattern, okay? Now, let's see an example of how we use that when a triangle is already in front of us. So, first of all, one indicator that let us think that we need to use the law of cosines is the sandwich. Do you remember the sandwich? Well, we learned about the sandwich when we were working with the area of a triangle. Well, the same idea. Every time we have a sandwich situation and the opposite side is what we're looking for, that is an option for using the law of cosines. Okay? So let's see that in this example that I have here. Okay? So uh, we have the triangle ABC. As you can see there and I don't even know if you are able to see that but here I'm gonna label it here we have the sandwich can you see it and notice that what they are asking me is the opposite side to the angle B so every time we have that situation, the sandwich and the opposite side, that is a clear indicator for finding the or for using the law of cosines. OK, so let's do this. We already know that we need to use the law of cosines. OK, so I want to find side B. That means that I'm going to start with that B to the second power. OK, now the other two sides. OK, so we have C to the second power and we up to let me let me write it in alphabetical order so we have a to the second power plus c to the second power minus 2ac cosine of b okay now that i have that i'm going to replace what i know so i know that a to the second power is 25 because 5 to the second power is 25 plus 6 to the second power, which is 36, minus 2 times 5 times 6, cosine of 37. Okay. Now, I'm going to input all that in my calculator. Okay. So, let's do it. Here you have my calculator. So, 25 plus 36 minus 2 times 5 times 6, cosine of 37, okay? And that is 13.08, okay? But be careful, okay? I'm going to write that, 13.08. But be careful because that is not the side. That is the square of the side. So remember that we need to isolate the B by passing this 2 to the second, or that second power to the other side, which is square root. Okay, so if I apply the square root of 13.08, okay, the side B is approximately, okay, let me, so notice that I have, I have it here, so I'm going to copy paste, 3.62, okay, 3.62 centimeters, okay, so that is side B. Uh, in the in the drawing, uh, it says that, that the side is A. It's it's a wrong labeling, or actually, is it's like uh, something that you it's a trick. Okay, uh, so be careful with that. Uh, remember to be clear how to label the sides of a triangle. Okay, let's go to the next example. Okay, so in the next example, uh, notice the following. In this one no angles are given, okay? We have the triangle ACB. We have the measure of all the sides, 16 centimeters, 18 centimeters, and 22, but we do not have the a, a, any angle. And they are asking us to find the angle ABC. Be careful, okay? I'm going to write that here. A, B, C. And when we are talking about angles, always we need to follow the sequence that is there. Okay? Uh, an indicator or something that could help us is the letter in the middle. The letter in the middle basically is what the angle is. So 
A, B, C. Let me, let me highlight it so you can see better. So I'm going to follow that sequence. A, B, and now C. Okay? So in other words, the angle that they are asking me is this one. Okay? This is the angle they want to know. Okay. So they want to know angle B. Since they, since I'm looking for B, that is the side I'm going to start with. Okay? So I'm going to start with side B squared, okay, equals A squared plus C squared minus 2 times AC cosine of B. Okay? And if you are still struggling with labeling the sides, remember that the opposite of B is this one. The opposite of A is this one, and the opposite of C is this one, as you can see there. Okay, so now we're going to replace what we know, okay? So we know that B to the second power, or B is 16, we know that A is 18, and we know that C is 22. Okay, so A is 18, C is 22, cosine of B. Okay, here we need to be careful, okay? Uh, by the way, a hint, in the formula booklet, this formula is already solved, uh, solved for the angle, okay? However, I'm going to do it. Okay, so remember that we need to start passing all the numbers to the other side, okay? And I'm going to start a clue or a way I do it is that I pass them starting from the one that is further to the angle, okay? So in other words, I'm gonna start passing this too. The 18 and the 22, both of them are adding, so I'm gonna pass them subtracting, okay? So 16 to the second power minus 18 to the second power minus 22 to the second power. Okay, now be careful. Now we have this part that is here, negative two times 18 times 22. All of those numbers, the three numbers and the sign, they are multiplying the cosine. So we're going to pass them dividing. Like this. Okay. And now what we have is this. Okay. So just the cosine is what is missing. So I'm going to pass the cosine to the other side. Remember that cosine passes as the inverse of the cosine. So I'm going to I'm going to turn this to the other side. Uh, let me make that change here. Uh -huh. ah. Sorry. Okay. Now better. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I'm used to work with the variable in the left side. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to pass, as I mentioned it before, I'm going to pass the cosine to the other side as the inverse. Okay, so cosine inverse of 16 to the second power minus 18 to the second power minus 22 to the second power, all divided by negative 2 times 18 times 22. And now I'm going to input this in my calculator. Okay. So, inverse of cosine, okay? Now, remember that we need to let the calculator know that in our numerator is all that that, is, that we have there, 16 to the second power minus 18 to the second power minus 22, okay? So, I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to do that through a parenthesis. So, 16 to the second power minus 18 to the second power minus 22 to the second power, okay? Close parenthesis. So, there we have the numerator and now the denominator. So I'm going to open the parentheses again. Negative. Be careful. Remember that the negative is the key that we have below the 3. That is negative. The other negative is for subtraction. Okay, so be careful with that. Okay, so negative 2 times 18 times 22. Close parentheses, close parentheses. And the answer is 45.8, okay? So angle B is 45.8 degrees. Okay, so now we have a challenge, okay? The next example that we have here, okay? It's a challenge. Let's see if you can do it, okay? So first we have the triangle ABC that is there, okay? 
the side AB uh, equals 5, the side AC equals 6, and the angle B equals 86. Okay, and they are asking you to find the side BC or also labeled by A. Okay, so try to do it, pause the video, and let's see if you are able to get this answer. Okay, so I hope that you already solved this. Here, actually, you can decide if you want to use law of sines or law of cosines. I'm going to use law of cosines. However, if you did it with law of sines, well, I think that you are supposed to get the same answer unless it is an ambiguous case. However, let me see. I think that in this case, it doesn't apply the ambiguous case. Okay, no worries. If you don't know the ambiguous case, we're going to see that in the next video. Okay, so... As I said, I'm going to solve it with law of cosines. Okay, so I'm because angle B is what is given, I'm going to start with psi B. Okay, so B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of B. Okay, I already stated the law of cosines. Now I'm going to replace what I have. Okay, so um, I have the side B. Notice that is the one that is in front of the angle B. So 6 to the second power, that is 36. A is a requested. Notice that I do not have it. That is because basically A is what I'm looking for. Okay. And now C, as you can see, the opposite side to angle C is this one. So 25. Okay, let's replace. So here we have... 2 times A, that is unknown, A, so A and C, which is 5, cosine of 86. Okay. A squared plus 25 minus, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace in my calculator 2 times 5 times cosine of 86. Okay. So 2 times 5 times cosine of 86. That gives me 0 0.697698. Okay, so 0 0.698. And remember that there we have the letter A. Okay, and I imagine that you already observed that what I have in front of me is a quadratic equation. Okay, so what I'm going to do when we have a quadratic equation, what we have to do in order to solve it is pass everything to one side of the equation. So uh, I'm going to pass a, the 36 to the other side. So I have a squared minus 0 0.698a. And here we have plus 25 minus 36 equals 0. Notice that I also flipped the sides of the equation because, as I mentioned, it, I like to work with the variables in the left side of the equation. Okay, so now I need to merge this 25 and this 36. So combining like terms... Okay, so that is negative, nine, negative 11. Uh -huh. Okay, and I have a quadratic equation. And maybe you will say, but I don't know how to solve a quadratic equation. Well, we can do it through a quadratic formula if you are used to that. Okay, but also, let me tell you something. If you have a graphic display calculator, there's an app inside of this calculator that helps us to find the roots of any polynomial equation, okay? So let's use that, okay? So here I have my calculator. What do we have to do? First, we need to press apps. Here, you have this key that says apps. And we need to scroll down until the option that says apply simultaneous to, okay? In some calculators, it's option nine. In others, I don't know, previous models, is option eight, okay? No matter which one, just read apply simultaneous to. Okay, enter. And here there are two options. One is for simultaneous equation. So if we want to solve, if we have a case of simultaneous equation, but the other one says polynomial root finder. That is the one that we're going to select. Okay, here the calculator is asking us what is the order of the equation. And notice that 
our, calc our equation is a, basically what the calculator is asking us is what is the highest exponent of this equation. And is power 2. So that means that it's a second order a polynomial. Okay? So notice that what I'm using is the cursor. Okay? So I selected option 2 or order 2. I press enter. Okay? So the other is going to stay as it is, okay? And now I'm going to press where it says next. So notice that this next coincides with this key that says graph. So every key that you have here, main, and here we have some blanks, okay? And this help. This basically coincides with each of this. So main corresponds to this one. Help corresponds to this one that says trace. And next corresponds to graph. So I'm going to press graph. Okay, so now the calculator is asking me to input the values. So notice that here we have the equation. I'm going to put it here. Okay, so here we have 1x to the second power or 1a to the second power. So we need to enter 1. Okay, the other one is negative. So minus, enter, 0 0.698, 0 0.698, enter. Then minus again, enter, and then 11. Okay, so I already input everything. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to press the key that says solve. Okay. And notice that here I have two possible options. I'm, so I'm going to write both. A could be negative 2.99. So that is the first option of A. And the second option of A is... 3.68. So which one am I going to select? Well, the second one. Why? Because because this is a triangle, we cannot have negative measure of sides. So this one is not possible because of the context of the problem. So the answer for this problem is 3.68. Okay? So I hope that you were able to solve this problem. If you use law of signs, maybe it took a little bit more. Uh, and maybe you will say, but using law of cosines is more difficult. It could be, but you need to get used to this uh, to, to find uh, the one of the different sides, not the opposite. Uh, with the law of cosine, so you can solve with quadratic equations, okay? That is important. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Remember, don't forget to subscribe. Click on this button that is here, okay? Also, give a like if you like this video, and see you in the next videos. Hasta luego!